Filipino black folks, and basically it is not as very astonishing. NASA's got a typo big time. They think that that's Saturn down there, and it's B. I can't do anything fooling around or anything. This is the actual factual BH1 shot that they've got in history, ladies and gentlemen. History. Uh, they need to do some piss tests down there at NASA. It's a human error is what we have here because basically that's Jupiter, okay? That's Jupiter. If you look at the recent footage, we just had Saturn come into view, and I'm pretty damn sure that it came into view on B, but it just came into view now, not on the 12th. If you see that they got that marked in the footage here of it on the 12th that we've been making, that I've been making videos of, because there's just tons of action going on here. This is Pan Stars, as you can see, and Pan Stars is a lot more than. Because you know when you see Earth doing that right there, when the sun does whatever it's doing because it's got whatever it's got going on up by it. And uh, factually, we'll take you over to JPL to show you that this is Jupiter. Absolutely. So they have, they have issues down there at NASA. We have seen them wearing tie-dye shirts a lot which is fine for recreational purposes. Uh, if you have a medical card, I'm sure that's probably all right. So uh, anyhow, they have a typo in Major League because that's not, that's basically Jupiter in that shot because I've got here JPLs and uh, JPL will be laughing their ass off on this one anyway. So uh, Sechi is pretty much, I guess, basically the problem there. So uh, I would make sure you, uh, you know, head shop or something synthetic so anyhow it's a major mistake by them because the idea that even newspapers and stuff write retractions so it's actual factual that the only way you can make Saturn look that close to the Sun from either A or B is by dragging it on a JPL map okay and then you blow it out and every time you ever shoot out in space whether you've got a telescope for Sechi and Soho and so forth or NASA and Earth is directly on their triangulation, their Y that they've got going on with the three satellites. Well, they got way, way more than that. Earth is there, and when you're shooting from A, you're on this side. So as I, as I bring it in, you'll see that the only way that they would have ever been able to get a shot from any camera of Saturn that day was if, if somehow like that, that they were that far out, which I wouldn't put the past the capabilities of being able to do that, but it would only would have been able to be done that from a stereo a not from ie b that we are actually at so actual factual they have to do a retraction majorly big time it's pretty problematic when you have a blue collar person sitting here checking stuff out and then seeing you making mistakes like that pretty ridiculous anyway uh nobody with the government really gets checked up on their job that much you know yeah, it's not like in the private sector with the idea that they watch you like a hawk all the time. You see what I'm saying? So the government employers, they get to be really lackadaisical. So even if it's a contractor now, they're going to say, oh, well, it's Sechi, it's a contractor or something or whatever. So anyhow, that is absolutely not Saturn. That is Jupiter that's in that shot on that angle on that day from B because they would have been shooting on this side. I won't even, I'm not even going to turn things. I don't have to. The actual factual that that is... Jupiter in that shot because you see that they're shooting through and getting Mercury and Earth and the Sun and when they're shooting through you're not getting Saturn back there you won't get a Saturn back there even if you're you know just totally ass and and we'll have to watch comments I guess in the in the future to see if they make Earth straight line like this to have such a magnetical field action in them before the Sun even does the CME on the 10th when it first came into the you know it was in the solar system for a long time anyway Okay, but when Pan Stars, which is C2000, C slash 2011 L4, now there's a lot of Pan Stars too, you got to be careful. C slash 2011 L4, okay, and Pan Stars made Earth magnetical straight line when it got close by Earth and started getting close in on uh, the actual factual of doing this to the sun on. And comets don't do that. This is Pan Stars. Pan Stars is probably a planetoid object or a star flying. Not really. Yeah, it's flying. Every, everything in space is flying. So going through our solar system. Now I got it going. 
reverse, but what I'm going to show you is factual. I what I call a shotgun effect. Okay, we have it coming back through here again, and I got it going backwards. But we're going to show you the factual that what you get. Now we're going in a normal direction there, and then I'm going to back back up again, reverse. What you get is you get shadows of objects when the sun does a CME like that that is massive. Okay, when it comes off. I'll go up and pump up to, eh, we'll get 200, I think we'll get this to suffice. Okay, you get these, which basically you even get bigger than what Mercury is. Mercury's only the same size as the moon, our moon, okay? Remember, this is always electrical that you're always seeing. This is always a luminosity. This is electrical light curvature. You're seeing voltage, okay? In space, it's a vacuum tube, so the idea that you can see electrical current in space just like a vacuum tube okay so actual factual you got mercury in its luminosity and it puts off a hell of a flare there you get somewhat of the idea of what mercury is and even that makes mercury look big right there but that's pretty much mercury shadow right there okay in it like an x-ray because that's what the sun's doing it's radioactive and it's basically like a gigantic flash bulb in uh, inside a vacuum tube Okay, vacuum tubes, I know a lot about vacuum tubes. So, actual factual, okay, that is like what I call a shotgun effect. And uh, let me even go up to 9.99, and this is, video is just basically, uh, the government's got to get NASA to get their head out of their ass. They're may, they, they embarrass the country to the rest of the world. Uh, I mean, idiots can figure this stuff out from... Uh, other countries. You should see the population of what I have on my analytics that people from overseas watch these videos and they realize when I'm telling the actual factual. So what we do is we got a shotgun effect that I call it that basically makes shadows when a CME comes off like that. And like I say, this even exaggerates what Mercury, what the size of Mercury is. Mercury's exact same damn flipping size, pretty much. Not to the gnat's ass, but pretty much the same size as our moon. Okay, and then the luminosity puts off a hell of a shadow there. So we get this shadow effect, and then I'm going to be able to go ahead and show you figures of what we have when we have a shadow effect coming off of the 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 pan stars as we pop down here. And I'm actually wasting a little bit of video time on this, but anyway, we'll hit play. And we got it going backwards, and then we'll hit forward. And you're getting the action you're getting this day, but basically, I'll slow it down. And I might be on the wrong date to be showing what we got, but I believe we do have objects no, the next day. So I think I actually might be able to order here. 10th there. 12th. 13th. Okay. That's what we're looking for because we're going to have shadows. It's the famous, infamous blockage that they've pulled off on us. So, and then basically when I go in here at, at like, uh, I should be able to just get it at, uh, I'm going to go to 400. And we're on the tail of, and you're going to see the blockies that they end up putting in. Now, what NASA really should do so for making such a stupid ass mistake of doing that Saturn thing and taking those, whoever's government wise has taken down the blue footage that we pay tax dollars for. There was a blue footage that we were able to see stuff. And in this, you can see where they're pirating and stealing out. So we're going to figure a distance because we've got Earth's magnetical line right there. Okay, now we got distances from uh, pan stars, and then we can ballpark this of what this material is because there's objects that are easily seen because they get a shotgun effect as they come through the electrical luminosity of the tail of pan stars, which is more than likely a falling star or planetoid object. Okay. Because all this, everything that you see here in this the shotgun effect off of this tail is basically between the camera and the tail of pan stars. So, and basically you know that it's all out there by the tail. So we can figure the maximum distance would be the distance of pan stars <clears throat> going along in space. So I'll freeze this. We'll get down in size. You can get an actual somewhat factual. And I can slow this down too, so that you can see the emphasizing of the area where, and then we can go back up in size. 
got it slowed down and you'll see the black mark come in where they cover up whatever planetoid object that we have that is right there and then so you know that there's material there's planetoid objects basically that cause this I'll point to it right here you're gonna get this here all this stuff right there is stuff that is between pan stars and Earth. Okay? And they block that out big time. Why asinine? Show us what the hell's there. What the hell's hiding? Okay? So, right there, there's objects. There's all kinds of objects here that you end up seeing because this stuff is between Earth <clears throat> and pan stars. And the camera ends up showing it to you. Okay? That stuff's all between Earth and pan stars' tail. Okay? So, actual factual, and I'll get over so you can see the clock, and you keep on seeing the blockage come up. Okay, so let's get to this. I want to thank every branch of the military for getting the shots, though, and it, we got an awesome, uh, huge falling star or comet, as you can see here, from a long distance off, to give you an idea on size. And what I'm going to do is I'll keep my cursor right where it's coming to, see where it's coming to, and then it comes to the end of the footage, and then it refreshes for the next day, right where my cursor's at. And you can see it on the 23rd too. You can see you can also see it on the 23rd if you watch the 23rd footage in the lower left-hand corner too. I don't know if I have time for that right now, but you can see it coming out when it first comes out too. It comes out down here. I hope the frame thing goes away, but just about. See, it comes right out from where my pointer is at right there. It comes shooting up up underneath the numbers. You can see it up here by the B before it gets to the B. You see before it gets to the B, and then it comes out past the B behind it. So it's pretty killer footage. And actually, I think I can go down here real fast and hit slow. I'll hit slower. Boom, boom, boom. And you should be able to get it, see it a little bit more better coming up and out. And there you go. You see it right there. I got it at 9.99, so you can. And there it goes. You should be able to watch it start up down there. I've just seen it go away, and there it comes up and catch up with it. And there it goes. You start up down here, somewhere, and it goes up past the B. You can't miss it. It's pretty good. You ever just stay away? You should be able to see it start down there below the three. I think it starts. Yeah, below the three, and it shoots on up behind the B and then on out. So, uh, then we'll give you a factual on the size too. You can get a good idea. Boom. Go to 400. Then lower down the left hand corner. And you can see on the size of it, pretty doggone good size. Uh, kind of creepy because that looks bigger than the, uh, I mean, massive distance and that damn thing actually even looks bigger than what would be the moon. Was pretty freaky about that. So that's a long ways off. And you can see it down there, and then just the idea that when you look at the Earth, and as you can see that that's our that's not Earth there, folks. That's our object that came by that really sucked the magnetical the luminosity out of the Earth's magnetic line and and out of Earth. Uh, and it's the that's our same object that came rotating along. Uh, watch the footage in my other video. I basically made a little bit of a movie going, and then this you can see it when it goes past the magnetical line of Earth. Kind of does a little bit of a CME reactive flare from it. And you'd have to watch the footage from the 20, what is it, 26 next to be able to get that really good on the ass end of it when it comes around. So, yep, Earth is up there, right there. So. That thing is something that with a you tell tell me because basically we'll follow. In nothing known to man in public, in public, ladies and gentlemen, knows anything that crosses Earth's magnetical field or nothing crosses that we know of. And it's absolutely not Mercury. And I can show you in the footage on that. And absolutely nothing in space crosses Mer Earth's path as far as we know it right there at that point in time on the 24th. The date's right and everything. There's absolutely nothing that could be crossing Earth's magnetical. So, and this is absolutely what it was. It wasn't pan stars and it wasn't Mercury. It's this right here.